I am Yash Rumta, the founder of Alt Investor, India's first and largest community on alternative investments. And I am here to welcome you to this Alt Extra newsroom today powered by Grip Invest. As you can see, today's video is a bit special because we are here to settle the most common query asked by investors. Which fixed income investment is the best option? And for this, we are inviting relevant industry participants to our news panel today. First up, we have the steady and reliable Miss FD. Hello Yash, uh, thank you for having me. I may be slow, but I am safe and sound. Next up, we have the risk taker with the balance, Bond. No, not James Bond, but maybe Mr. Indian Bond. Hey Yash, thanks for inviting me. I like to make investors' portfolio diverse and safe. And finally, we have the sophisticated and diversified investment option, Mr. SDI. Thank you Yash for calling me. I'm a bit complicated to understand, but I am worth it. Well, we'll see that soon, Mr. SDI. But let's start with this panel. First, let's talk about all your credentials. I will go first. I am fixed deposit placed with banks or NBFCs. Simple, stable and reliable. Deposit your money and I promise a fixed return. Plus, I am protected up to INR 5 lakhs under DIC GC scheme if placed with the bank. But I may not be so protected when done with an NBFC. I am an Indian corporate bond issued by governments, corporations, municipalities and many more. I help these entities raise capital for their projects. I may or may not be secured, but you need to evaluate me carefully. I am securitized debt instrument backed by a pool of loans, leases or bonds. Unlike you guys, I am all about spreading risk across various income generating assets. Matlab, I am confident that you can't diversification in diversification. Hmm, impressive credentials guys. Chalo, now let's talk about returns and risks. My returns are generally fixed, usually between 6% to 9%. Uh -huh. Miss FD, sorry, I think we lost you there. Aapki awaaz nahi aare thi. Please repeat that again for me. Uh, my returns are generally fixed, usually between 6% to 9%. Low risk, low return. But hey, who doesn't like stability? I offer returns between 9% and 18% based on different credit ratings higher than Miss FD, yes, but also higher rewards. Yash, can you show my credit default chart to the viewers? They will be able to see percentage of defaults for different ratings. I also come in secured form and unsecured form. In secured form, I am usually covered by enough receivables, promoter guarantees and some cash collaterals. But in unsecured form, there is none. Hmm. Impressive data, Mr. Bond. I mean, the triple A rating, which 9-10% return, that is, you have earned it. But this 18% return will not be more than that. No, you can get it, Mr. Yash. These will be unsecured structures, but you will get rewarded for the high risk you are taking. Hey, one second. Listen to me first before, before praising Mr. Bond. My returns range from 10% to 16% based on underlying assets and ratings. Sure, there is risk if too many underlying assets default too fast, but my structure often includes over collateralization and cash collaterals for extra safety. You can see the DHFL example of Mr. Bond, Miss FD. Everything was gone at that time, only I was around. Well, sorry to say Mr. Bond and Miss FD, but Mr. SDI is here correct. Mr. SDI does appear to have a secure or more robust security structure. Chalo, very interesting. Now can all of you tell me about your tenure and liquidity features? My tenure can range from few months to several years, usually up to 10 years. But just being transparent, uh, if you want to redeem early, I will charge you a penalty. So Miss FD, you are liquid, but with a penalty. Hmm, chalo, good to know. What about you, Mr. Bond? So, I am more flexible with tenures from 6 months to over 30 years for government bonds. I am also fairly liquid, especially 
with the A minus rated ones. But any ratings below that, no guarantee. No guarantee. Hmm, nice Mr. Bond. Good to know that ratings matter for liquidity purposes too. Let's come to you now, Mr. SDI. Thanks, Yash. My tenure also varies widely between 4 to 48 months, depending on the underlying assets. For liquidity, well, I'm tradable, but not very liquid in India. It's a bit of a mixed bag, but we are very slowly growing. In 2-3 years, we will also make it. I see you are taking inspiration from Aman Gupta, Mr. SDI. Very good. That should be the spirit. But let's now talk about the main thing. Who is so regulated and who is so in the water? And how much you take tax, you can tell them too. I am covered under the RBI Banking License for Bank FDs and under the Deposit Taking NBFC License for NBFC FDs. So I am as secure as it gets. Tax-wise, I think we all are same. I'll pay as per your marginal slab rate. For TDS, 10% deduction if interest exceeds some threshold defined in income tax law. I am also either regulated by SEBI or the Companies Act 2013. But the way I get distributed is sometimes not very well regulated. It's something we are trying to make better. As of taxes, my interest is also taxed as per marginal rates with TDS at 10%. But if you try to sell me before maturity for a capital gain, your tax will differ based on your holding period and listing status. Always good to consult a tax advisor. Are Mr. Bond, what are you saying? Let others also speak. I follow RBI and SEBI securitization guidelines with a robust security structure. Tax-wise, the rule Mr. Bond is applicable is to me. The TDS on interest income is 25%. Sorry, Mr. SDI, how much is TDS? Let's talk a little bit. First, you don't want to finish Mr. Bond. Now, you don't want to hear your voice. I don't have nothing major. I was just saying my TDS is at 25%. But you can claim this back while filing taxes if you are in lower bracket. Hmm, okay. So that's great, Mr. SDI. Okay, I think that concludes our debate, right? Each of our panelists have their own strengths. Miss FD for safety, Mr. Bond for balanced risk, and Mr. SDI for diversified returns. Our viewers should choose based on their financial goals and risk appetite. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Hope you found our newsroom format interesting. We had a lot of fun shooting it. Which one of the three do you prefer for your investment goals? Do let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you found this video useful. Thank you.